Well, welcome to the Moving Picture Studio. This is a, the longest name in the history of production, yes. Tamara. I'm going to say Tamara. It yes. makes it a lot easier. Tamara Staparich de la Barra, uh, Rob Minkoff and Mark Damon. Congratulations on having the film up here at Sundance. And welcome to the studio. Rob, I mean... I'm sure you've heard it before, but I mean, isn't it just a matter of time before a guy named Rob has to direct a heist movie? Yes, uh, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I never thought yeah, of I it. never thought of it either. Although occasionally, really? yeah, well, sure occasionally, when out. I read the description of the movie, of course, it uses the word Rob, mm -hmm. and now, uh, like, yeah, it's hard not to to think that, I suppose. Um, the screenwriters of this project are the screenwriters that have enjoyed some po enormous popularity recently with The Hangover. Um, at what stage did you meet them and pick up the script and come on board? Well, that's actually interesting. Uh, what happened was I met them a few months before The Hangover came out. And we talked about working on an entirely different project. And, uh, and then after The Hangover came out, I wondered if I would ever have the opportunity to work with them. So when I got a call from uh, one of the producers of, the, of Flypaper, uh, he said that I had to read the script right away. And, and when he told me that it was written by uh, um, you know, John Lucas and Scott Moore, I yeah. was like, oh my god. I got to read it, so yeah. I did, and I thought it was terrific. You've really had a chance to kind of jump genres over the last you know, number of years, everywhere from The Lion King to kind of martial arts films, The Forgotten Kingdom, Michael Angarano's up here at Sundance as well, and then this, like a small kind of caper comedy. Um, is it just that you enjoy the process no matter what, or do you really just like experimentation? I, you know, it's a little bit of both, but I think that for me it, it comes from my love of movies. Um, you know, I didn't really think about uh, the kind of movie or the genre of movie when I was growing up watching movies. Mm -hmm. It's just that I knew that I loved movies and I loved all sorts of movies. And I suppose when you, you know, get into the business or, you know, you want to be a director, uh, I sort of want to, you know, work in all those different ways that, that you know, are uh, things that I've loved. When it comes to compiling the talent on a film like this, do you, uh, do you and Mark kind of say, okay, I've got these guys that I really want. Are you, get, are you prepared to cut the checks on for this sort of talent, for this level of talent? Like, how's that process go between the two of you? Well, between the two of us, it was fairly simple. He would tell me what he wanted, and I would get it from him. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, working with this cast, I mean, some of the, if you could just let us know, like, who fell into place first? Sure. Well, uh, when I started, obviously, Patrick was, was uh, in, in the movie as, as a star and pr producer. Um, and I think after Patrick, uh, it was, I think it was probably... Tim Blake Nelson, I think, was our second, uh, you know, sort of uh, casting choice. But it, it, it all came together really quickly, which was kind of amazing considering. Um, uh, but we got a really incredible cast. Yeah, uh, Mackay Pfeiffer's in the film. Mackay Pfeiffer's in the film. Um, Pruitt Taylor Vince, um, Jeffrey Tambor. It's really a great cast.